got a pen shop in Rome and they contact you and they go, hey girl, actually that's probably not the way they said, hold on, let me, let me see how they would say it. They would say, Jamie Raconti, hold on, hold on, Kami Raconti. God, that's, I have like, I don't have an Italian accent, dude. I can't do this. I was contacted by the pen shop in Rome called Stilo, Stilo Fetti. And they were kind enough to say, hey, hey girl, we've got a pen for you that we'd like you to try out. And it's a Leonardo. So what I have here in this box is a collaboration between Leonardo and Stilo Fetti. And it's a new collection launched just for them that only is limited to a hundred pens. There's a whole lot of history that is attached to this pen. And you know, maybe you don't know, but you know how I like history, art history or history. But in this case, this pen is launched based on the seven kings of Rome. So yeah, I didn't know that there were seven kings of Rome. That's actually pretty interesting information. This is the first of a series of seven. Every year, starting this year and forward, on April 21st, there will be a new pen released in this series to represent the seven kings of Rome. And you know what's significant about April 21st for Rome? Well, that's Rome's birthday. So Rome was born on April 21st. And so that's really cool. I think that, you know, with all of this history behind it, I, I think it's, the idea is really fascinating and it's awesome. Okay, let's get to the pen. Let's look at this pen. So it comes in a box similar to what your Leonardo pen comes in. It's got an outer sleeve and on the cover it says 70, 17, or however you say 17 in Italian. Well, I guess y'all let me know in the comments. 17 Re de Roma. And so this is the first pen and it's the first king called Romolo. 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 Here we go. Let's slide out this outer sleeve and we've got, this is, this box is actually different though from what you get from a, the typical Leonardo offering. And so we've got Leonardo on the front and then there's a little sticker right here with the information for Stilo Fetti. And you know, I think that's cool. So actually that will come in handy. Do a screenshot. Do your screenshot. Because this pen is only sold through their store. So you'd have to order it online, but we'll talk a little more about that towards the end of the video. All right, so let's take the top off the box. So yeah, it usually opens like that, right? Not this time. It actually comes off. And so let's see what's inside here. We've got our Memento Zero, because that's what this pen is. It is based on the Memento Zero pen. So the collaboration of Memento Zero is probably one of the best pens, in my opinion, that Leonardo offers besides their Fiore. We've got some images here of how the Memento Zero is created. And here's, this is from the usual lineup from the Leonardo MZ collection or Memento Zero. Yeah. And you have a special brochure in here from Stilo Fetti. And on the back here, here's another screenshot opportunity. There's their address and phone number, as well as their website. So here's a sneak peek of what that pen's gonna look like. And oh my gosh, guys, I've already peeked at it and it's gorgeous, totally different. So this is pretty much, you know, it, it tells you that the design will be released on the 21st of April of every year. And so you can expect to see this series. And then there is another catalog or brochure in here uh, that describes the the Romolo pen. So you have the images here of the seven portraits of the seven kings. So Romolo, this, it's this dude with the big curly beard. That's Romolo. So that's who this pen is gonna be based on. And inside of it, again, it says it's distributed exclusively by Stylo Fetti and produced by Leonardo. Another thing that's inside the box is something that I haven't seen in a Leonardo offering is 
And here you have your cartridges, your ink cartridges. So I think that's pretty cool. I've never seen it offered like this, even though I, I hardly use them, but so you have your short cartridges in there. That's nice. And finally, finally, a pen and it comes in this, this plastic sleeve that's very loud. It is very loud. And has a Leonardo tag, but look at that pen. Yeah, so it's like a red brown colored acrylic. It's very beautiful. That is really lovely. And it has a gold laminate finish, according to my uh, contact over at Stylo Fetti. And acrylic is meant to mimic, and this is another little historical nugget for you. The color of the pen is meant to mimic the land near the Tiber River. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? I'm gonna take this thing off, it's just, there, okay. It's gonna keep banging up against the acrylic and make club noise. So the color is meant to mimic the Tiber River, which is cool. So it's the color of the land. So it looks a lot like your typical Leonardo Memento Zero, right? But we've got a difference here and you have a ring here at the bottom of the cap and it's gold and it's a lot wider than what you usually see on a Memento Zero. And on it, it reads Romolo, so you know which pen it is. And on the barrel right here, it's inscribed with the Leonardo Stylo Fetti pen, and it's numbered as well. So this pen is offered in a cartridge converter, which is what this is. But if you're really into the Leonardo piston filling pens, you can also buy this as a piston filler. Let's take a look at that nib and let's see here. It is gold and it is a steel nib. And the size I have is, this is a fine nib. And it also has what is imprinted on it is the 753. I'm, I apologize. I do not know what the significance of the 753 is. I'm sure that I can look that up. Um, but I'm actually, cause I'm about to leave here in a little bit to go take care of some stuff. And I, I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm so lazy. I'm so damn lazy. But I'm sure that the 753 does have some significance because it is on the nib and it's got a plastic bead. So this is a Yovo nib. And so let's go ahead and take a look at that converter. And there's one thing I do love about Leonardo pens is their converters because they just match the pen so beautifully. You know, you've got this gold part right here that it just, it just really makes the pen more elegant in my opinion. Yeah. Another thing about this pen is if you don't feel like taking the entire barrel off to fill the pen, it also has a blind cap, so you can pretend you got a piston filler. You can pretty much treat this like it's a piston filler, just like that. So I think that's cool. I actually think that is really cool. Uh, it's, you know, it's just that little something extra. But I just love the color of this pen. I wonder what the other six pens are going to look like, you know, what colors they're going to be and, you know, what they're supposed to mimic, you know, as far as, I guess they would be based on maybe different places in Rome. So that, that could really be interesting. In case you're wondering, the, the nib does come in several sizes. It comes in all the sizes you could think of from fine to broad to stub. So, um, all right. Well, I guess the next thing I'm gonna do with this pen is um, let's ink it up and let's see how he writes because the Romulo was a dude.
Thank you so much for joining me for this look at the Leonardo and Stylo Fetti Memento Zero in the series that represents the seven kings of Rome and this one being Romolo. And look at that. I mean, that material is beautiful, but what else is beautiful is how lovely the nib writes. Hey man, I like Leonardo. It's no secret. It's no secret. I love Leonardo pens. I don't think I'm their biggest fan. I think Tom Otto might be Leonardo's biggest fan, but I'm pretty damn close, actually. I am very close. But wow. I mean, this is a real treat. And remember, I mean, it's only sold through Stylo Fetti, and you can order it online. You could call them, whichever you're more comfortable with. And it's only limited to 100 pieces. Yeah. I imagine that each pen that comes out for the next six years is gonna be limited to 100 pieces. So it's, it's extremely limited. So this is the price for the cartridge converter. As far as I can tell you, it is uh, about 210 euros, which is around $248 US. So, you know, if this is a, a color that's not offered with the usual Leonardo line. So if this is something that you know, a pen that you're highly interested in, then, you know, $248, I honestly don't think that's horrible. I really don't. But in my opinion, $248 for a limited edition that's only limited to 100 pieces, I think that's fairly decent. And I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna lie. For some reason, the, you know, Italian pens seem to cost a little more. And I think it just, you know, that, that's the way it is. Now, I think that if this was through some US distributor, this, this price would be a lot more. So that's just my two cents, so whatever. Well, I guess that's all I have to say about this pen. I mean, it is gorgeous. It's a great writer. And go check it out over at Stylo Fetti. And I'll post the website address to Stylo Fetti in my description. So be sure to go check it out. And yeah, and that's how the ink flows.